delegating. It's a topic every manager knows about. Delegating is essential, especially when you've got tons of things to do, but not enough hands to do it with. You've only got two. You might as well delegate it if you can. The topic of delegating comes up quite a lot in my leadership training and coaching, and managers wonder, how can I do a great job of delegating work to my subordinates? If you have resources at your disposal to engage on projects, it's definitely something you want to consider. A company I once trained said, Phil, we don't have people to delegate to. I said, why don't you get some interns? They could benefit from having your name on their resumes, having your name and stamp of approval on their endeavors. You could benefit from having more hands to give work to, especially work that you feel could be handed off to someone else, equipped to handle it, but not necessarily having a high position such as yours or your peers. So when we talk about rules for effective delegating, we're talking about the smooth and efficient handoff of assignments and endeavors that you feel are getting in the way or could best be handled by someone else. The tips that I've got for you are from an awesome book by Curtis and Manning. You definitely want to look into it. So one of the ways we delegate is, of course, to share power. Now, one of the reasons we don't delegate is because we're scared of losing power. That fear of giving up what we've so long controlled is often a big inhibitor of delegating. You need to remember though, no one accomplishes anything great alone. So trying to do stuff all by yourself might land you in big trouble. You might find out that you've taken on more than you can chew and you might be struggling in accomplishing those goals or deliverables. So if you have resources to delegate to, just remember, as John Maxwell says, if you ain't here tomorrow, they may be passing around the potato salad at one's funeral. It's a sobering thought, but get to understand that with or without you, life will go on. It's very sobering, but it's the straight up truth. People are often used to saying, oh, Phil, without you, what would we have done without you? Down the tubes, our projects would have gone. Should I tell you the truth about that statement? It ain't true. Without you, they'll be just fine. They'll find a way to get along. So the quicker we wake up and smell the coffee, about how companies work in our absence or in our presence, the better it will be for our delegating skills. Anytime you are hesitating to delegate, just remember the potato salad will be passed around the very next day. In closing, you stand a much better chance of success in a product service, deliverable, a result when you delegate. Teamwork makes the dream work. If you have dreamt of accomplishing something big, you got to begin to build the dream team to make it happen. And if you build the dream team to make it happen, you better get ready to let it fly. Don't hold on to the kite strings, but hand it off to a team member so that you can work on the next kite. It's your friend Phil here keeping it real for you, Delegating 101. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.